Christmas is behind us now and uh, there is a bit of a Christmas haul to talk about. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Uh, did I get any watches for Christmas? Not really. I bought one for myself and then uh, I've got some in for review which I will be lucky enough to keep. So yes, this video includes paid promotion. I was given two watches from different brands and uh, I've got a uh, flashlight another light in from PowerTech so let's take a look here you go so a bit of a haul very 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 lucky this year and uh, this time of the year anyways so what I have for you here is a uh, Casio digital and analog from the 90s it's a uh, Casio I think it's an AW320 it's got the 358 module in it uh, it came without straps or box or anything like that definitely used uh, right now it's on a spinnaker a great looking strap but not a very comfortable one the, uh, the rubber is pretty tough uh, sort of not bendy at all and uh, I've been enjoying the heck out of this so if you don't know the significance of why I would go on eBay and uh, bid on this watch this watch was actually the same model watch worn by Joe Pesci in Home Alone uh, so late November wife and kitties were sat down for the first Christmas movie of the season and it was Home Alone you can't do without Home Alone Joe Pesci was wearing a, wearing this. One of my kids made a joke about, oh, "Hey, Dad, which uh, what watch is he wearing there?" So pretty quickly, I googled it up, found the model reference, and ran to eBay and followed it for a couple of weeks. And I was lucky enough to be the only bidder on this uh, Casio digital analog gold sort of toned dial face. I love it and uh, wear it quite often since I received it around the 20th of December just in time for Christmas and yeah I watched Home Alone again and uh, wore the watch yeah, hey it, it this is part of the corniness of uh, watch nerd them nerd them so fun watch uh, I did get lucky in the fact that hey it showed up it had a fresh battery in it and it works uh, I'm not about to challenge the uh, water resistance of it but there it is on to the next hey the team at PowerTac reached out to me about a year ago, and I received this PowerTac M6. This is, without a doubt, um, just a great, great everyday and EDC, everyday carry flashlight. It's got a magnetic base, helps me uh, at work. So, yeah, it's uh, sticking to my TV there. I just wrecked that monitor for sure. Um, PowerTac M6 great 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 light it's been about a year with me i think uh, so i am collaborating with powertac for uh you can get a 30 percent off there you go rechargeable 2600 milliamp hours battery in it rechargeable so if uh mad rock 30 if you're on their website if they don't already have 30 percent off you can get on mad rock on their uh sorry on powertac lights usa uh, website and get yourself a very serious uh, I think this is 1300 lumens at least 1300 it's got a strobe and a standard flashlight and four levels of power it is literally I carry it everywhere for work um, check out my Instagram you'll see photos of it so talking with the team at PowerTac again and uh, they offered to send me another um, sort of everyday carry E11 G2. Looking forward to carrying this, seeing how that's going to work. I'll admit that uh, for me right now, 
this <laughs> that magnetic base and they had to talk me into that when I first got it I'll admit I wasn't sold on it if you're looking for one 30% off uh, I think they're about uh, Oh, I don't know, sixty-nine to eighty-nine dollars uh, U.S. Uh, go check out their website. I'll put it right here. There you go. So, unboxing. Uh, sorry, that's a fib. If uh, I've already opened this up just to make sure it worked uh, before, uh, you know, once I received it from shipping. So turn it on, and then it has four different. It also has the strobe and a standard flashlight. But uh, looking forward to this one. This one also has a built-in battery uh, that is rechargeable via a USB-C right here connector. So your standard USB-C uh, micro, well, sorry, not micro, your USB-C uh, cable for most phones these days uh, will also charge this one. So if you're in your car, you can charge it at home. The uh, M6 has this magnetic I'll show you here now. Uh, magnetic vase charger. I'm probably selling you on the M6 <laughs> versus the E11 G2. But uh, PowerTac, everything. If you're into uh, so PowerTac, the name itself, don't, it's not uh, it's not just a gimmick. Uh, I don't have a need for it. But uh, if you're into um, uh, having fun with guns. Uh, you can buy mounts for your PowerTac uh, lights, your products from PowerTac. You'll see all all have uh, mounting systems. You'll see right there. They have a matching groove set. The knurling all metal cases uh, coated. This one's uh, taken quite a number of smacks, and uh, you can see there some of the the coating is beaten off of it because I use it every single day. It's great. Uh, so yeah, you can mount these to your favorite uh, sidearm or uh, long-range rifle. It's uh, up to you, I guess, or your uh, your shotgun. Uh, if you're bringing in doors, breaking down doors, um, check out a power tack. Mount that to your Mossberg, uh, you know, entry system. Uh, you're good to go. Uh, so check them out, power tack, American uh, company. Uh, really great bunch of guys. So, Mad Rock 30 gets you 30% off if they already don't have 30% off on their website right now. All right, very lucky. So, that's one and two. Uh, three Van Banner watches, uh, the Parking Master 2.0. So, that's the PM 2.0. Comes in this embossed case. VMB, I've been wearing this um, already, and I believe uh, the filter on my camera is crap for this video, but here we are. A bit of nostalgia filtering. So, Van Banner, uh, Parking Master 2.0, immediately love the watch. Very, uh, very cool design, sort of angular. Uh, the bezel is phenomenal. Let's just try that again. It is a uh, great sound. It's very uh, satisfying when it comes to bezels. Uh, this thing is fully loomed. Let's get a, uh, let's try that out. Let's use the power tack to blast it. Fully loomed bezel dial. Uh, the bezel and, sorry, the hands and the 12 o'clock indice on the dial face are, um, C3 Super Luminova, and then the outside is a cooler blue. I believe it's BGW9. So there you go. Let's get some more light in on this. There you go. Yeah. So been a fun wear, and uh, more in-depth uh, review coming soon. I am at the eight-minute mark of my video recording. So um, the Van Banner is an all-mechanical watch. Uh, so. If you're interested, I believe they are sold out, but uh, check out their Instagram and website. Last but not least, just received today, December the 30th. There you go, a little bit of uh, JDM for you, SBBN 031. Just an excellent every day for me. Day, date, courts. Man, I love that thing. RLG, it's been a long time. Uh, RLG Richard Legrand watches. I had a uh, Mark 1, I believe, Gen 1, 
RLG Odyssey uh, that I had purchased from Bob over at Time to Go. And then I was stupid enough to sell it to someone locally who won't sell it back to me. He's a grumpy old man at this point. I don't know. Um, no, he's not grumpy. He's just in love with it like I was. Um, I've tried and tried and tried to get him to sell it to me, and he won't do it. If you know of a Richard Legrand Gen 1 Odyssey, uh, that's like the super high polish, I believe, with the ceramic bezel insert, all black only, with the box, uh, and like, I'm on a full kit. Uh, if I get it at all, I'm on a full kit. I am looking for one. Hit me up in the comments section there, or drop me a line on my Instagram at Mad Rock Watches an Adventure. Oh man, so while I was jonesing for a new, or for the older uh, Richard Legrand Odyssey, uh, I reached out to RLG to see if uh, they were needing or wanting any more reviewers. And uh, they said, yeah, sure. What color do you want? And this thing just arrived via DHL today. It's uh, quite a different setup than the original. The original uh, Richard Legrand Odyssey that I had was a uh, jig, just a big old honking box, and the watch was inside of it. So this is pretty cool. A little leather uh, watch roll, a couple of slots. I uh, opened it enough to know that the watch is there and running, and that uh, nothing was smashed up, and then I saved the rest of it for this. So I haven't quite taken a look at it. I don't know if this is rubber or leather. Oh, it is a Tropic. Yes. My God. Richard Legrand hit the market hard. Uh, man, they just blew it out of the water back in uh, maybe 2018, 2019. And I was in love. And I should have never sold the RLG I had. And, man, they just blew my mind with the specs and the finish quality on the watches. And so, with an opportunity to get my hands on another one, still stickered. Oh, goodness gracious. It is smaller than I remember. So let's take a look. Yep. That is smaller. But all good. And uh, you can see there in the light that sunburst fume green, they call it. Let me share a moment with you all as I peel the sticker. <laughs> this is the uh, no date Richard Legrand Odyssey. Look at that thing. My filters aren't doing it. Oh my. I am only just noticing as I turn it sideways that the bezel insert is raised rounded. <sighs> like the Holy Grail Blanc Pont 50 Fathoms. Which one day, maybe if I retire or win the lotto, I will buy. I am 12 minutes into uh, this on a sort of Christmas haul video. Man, that feels good. This is going to be on my wrist very soon. Oh, that's a very good bezel. That is quite the feeling. Okay. Uh, lines up very well. I've got beard oil on my hands and now it's uh, smearing every single one of my uh, dial uh, crystals. The, oh my. Anybody who has seen a Richard Legrand video, review video, or... Uh, seen them online on Instagram and so on on social medias, you will know that they do a phenomenal job with Loom. This does not disappoint. Now I really, 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 really need. I want to have the first Richard Legrand Odyssey that I had that I sold. If you know of anyone with one, hit me up in the comment section. I am ready to buy. At fair market value, but nonetheless ready to buy. My goodness, that's, uh, I can't wait to get that. Let's uh, see if we can unsticker this. Yep, there's one. So, 
too shiny. I chose the wrong filter, and I'm under an LED light. And man, it's just not uh, it's not doing the old watch justice, is it? Richard Legrand, um, really? I mean, go check out some of uh, Jody's videos at Just One More Watch. He knows what it's about, too. Richard Legrand just really hits it out of the park. The price point is phenomenal. Uh, there's no saving stickers. I want to wear this thing. Can't wait to wear this one. And there's one of the dogs losing their minds. If you can't hear them. Oh, 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 oh. RLG, look at that. Nice logo. Nice finish work there. Sorry. Oh, and the link logs just drop away. This is going to be a cozy wear. Alrighty. And, uh, yeah. This is going to, uh, feed my need. Nice. Well, my dogs are losing their minds upstairs. It's been good to be with you. Look forward to some uh, more video content, full reviews on these items coming up on the channel in the next few weeks for sure. Alrighty. Take care.